It's May 12th, day three of the Laundry Basket Quilts 2021 Mystery Quilt. It looks like we're done with four patches because today we've upgraded to nine patches. Um, we'll be making 12 modified nine patches in three different colors. I'm not feeling very inspired by my color, color palette today. Um, I think I'm going to indulge in a little chaos and just pick random fabrics and hope for the best. I'm going to cut all my pieces off camera and then we can talk a little bit about chain piecing. Okay, here is my chain piecing game plan. So the block is laid out like this. Let's do this real roughly. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to sew these pieces all together and then after I've sewn I'm gonna finger press them open and then without cutting all those strings in between I'm gonna come back through and sew these down and then finger press open then I'm gonna give it a actual press and move on from there that's how I'm hoping it'll go uh, I don't know if that is how it will actually go fingers crossed I can do this. I know I can do this. I was told that I should probably explain my seam guide here, and I thought it was a good time to do it because I need to uh, replace it. Um, so it comes in a package like this. Seam guide set it with this little plastic setting device and um, several replacements. So what you do is, with your needle down, you hook the device on, and then you put in your sticker and slide it in. And then when it's at the right place, you just stick it down. And then when you pull your um, setter off, it'll be stuck. Except I haven't taken the sticker part off yet. So pretty simple. The only part you need to pay a lot of attention to is there's this little line and you wanna to try to get that as straight as possible. So I'm looking for right angles at every time it intersects something. And then you're good to go. Oh, also this is for a quarter inch seam specifically, but if you don't, or a scant quarter inch seam, but if you don't want to do a scant quarter inch, you can always um, just adjust your stitch width and it moves your needle one way or the other. So you just do a practice piece and then uh, measure it and see if you've gotten the seam allowance that you want without having to move the sticker all around. I just pulled up the old sticker and there is absolutely no sticky residue where it was. So that's really great. I thought I was going to have to clean it. So I'm just going to real quickly, uh, sort of quickly, <laughs> peel off the back here going to, oh, I gotta put my needle down, hook my needle, eyeball, looks good to me, and then I'm going to snap it into place. I guess you could get pretty precise about this, but I just eyeball it. And then there you go, ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to do my first batch of chain piecing and I've got my pieces all prepped and ready. Okay, first batch done. I've, I've finger pressed all of these pieces and I've prepped my next little batch for chain piecing. Let's see how this goes.
think I mostly just found that annoying. I, I really couldn't say if I'm gonna keep going in this method. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, here are my units pressed and cut into a block. So all I have left for this set is to uh, sew here, open it up, and sew here, and then I'll give it another press and it'll be done. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish block B and block C this way. Um, I'll see you when they're all put together. There's the first side, and I gotta do this side. <laughs> okay, I give up. I'm cutting these apart. Here is the final result for block A. Um, that method, that piecing method I used was, at first it was very helpful. It helped me keep everything in order. But then after that, it just, it got more and more annoying <laughs> to actually use it. Um, I can't say that I recommend that method. Uh, what piecing method did you guys use? I'm curious to know. Um, I still have to piece block um, blocks B and C, um, and I, I'm, I really don't know how I'm going to end up piecing that. Um, but I'm going to go sew a whole bunch more, and then I'll show you my final results. Okay, it's been just a little less than an hour, and I already showed you block A, but I finished block B and block C. Block C turned out a little weird, but that's what you get when you go chaos mode <laughs> when you're picking out fabrics. Um, I think they turned out pretty well. I haven't trimmed them yet. Uh, but I like them. I'm a little worried because I cut way too many pieces again. These are all left over. I need to start paying better attention to the instructions. I, uh, I really hope this doesn't come back to haunt me. If you want more detailed cutting and assembly instructions, visit Laundry Basket Quilts. Um, I'm going to put some links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up or maybe a comment. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow.